like I say, the thing was that um, JFK um, would name a lot of things in America. Like I said, a lot of people like the like the Hells Angels and a lot of other people supported people like JFK and a bunch of other people. I guess maybe because they're, I don't know, like, and they burned my 5,000 or my two, my 100-year-old priceless uh, priceless desk that that uh, also had hidden doors, by the way, and was carved ornately. Not that piece of shit thing that they have in the Oval Office now. Which would burn. Like I said, my priceless desk was was um, fireproof and made from wood, hardwood that wouldn't burn, which is kind of hard to do, by the way. It's not easy to make a wood that doesn't actually burn. So, just so you know, 500-year-old or 1,000-year-old desk made of hardwood that wouldn't burn. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it was, made, it was genetically designed to actually not burn. So, and it was a hardwood desk and weighed a lot of, and was actually lifted into the White House before the Oval Office was built, by the way. Yeah, they used chainsaws to get it out. And I hope it dolled a lot of their chainsaws. And I think it did, because it was a very, very hard wood, and it took a long time for that tree to grow to that size, by the way, just so you know. Yeah. And they burned it. Like I say. It was a couple hundred years old, by the way. Thousand. Actually, I think it was 5,000 years old. It's 5,000-year-old hardwood. Like, the tree took a long time to grow, too. So, yeah, and it was fireproof. And they used chainsaws to take it out of the Oval Office because it wouldn't fit through the door. Because it was lifted in there with a crane before the house, before the building was built, by the way. Just so you know. That's what you tried to burn. Now it's not going to burn. <laughs> it genetically designed hardwood so it wouldn't burn. It was funny watching them with... Well, it was, it's funny, though, that they uh, took um, gasoline and poured it on it and it still didn't burn. It's like, no, it's not going to burn. It was hardwood that was genetically designed to not burn. That's what made it unique. Anyway, it was lifted in there before the, um, the what's it called? So when they're going to take it out, they didn't really know how to do it, so they used a chainsaw and it dulled the, the chainsaw. So they had to use saws, I think, and cut it up. It took them a while. It dulled the chainsaws too. I mean the the saw blades too. By the way, yeah, it was some really hard wood. Like I say, something about yeah burning and all that. It's about capillary action, not having air and all that other stuff. So it was really really hard wood and really really nice and would have lasted a very long time. I think it was five thousand years old. By the way, so if you want to know what they burned outside the outside the outside the White House. Yeah, they were burning my hardwood desk that was five thousand years old, and it was older than than the um, than the than the fountain out front that they burned that, that they ran the tank into. It was about five thousand years old, and it was made from a wood that does not grow on Earth and hadn't grown for a very long time, and it was genetically made by me, so and designed not to burn, by the way, and to be hardwood like an ironwood except for better. Anyway, it was 5,000 years old, like I say. I think it was 5,000 years old. It was at least 500 anyway. And there's also the marble fountain that they also ran the tank into and shipped it. They could have just fixed it. I don't know why. They, they, they wanted to take it out. Anyway, whatever. And chiseled marble. Anyway, I'd saved this other group of people in the mountains or whatever. So. Anyway, they, so they wanted to do something really nice for me. Because I used to help them out and had saved them and fed their people and all that. So they hand chiseled. I think it was a pink marble. I think that's what it was. It was a pink marble fountain, I think, or something. I don't know. It was some sort of really rare amount of marble. Like it took a long time to form and make. And then it took a long time to chisel. Like this guy used his last years of his life to, um, to chisel it out. Because he wanted to do it and have it ready for me. Just so you know. Yeah. And JFK just ran a tank into it. A little spoiled brat. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So. Anyway. He did a lot of things. He did a lot of really bad things. 
Including taking guns and just shooting people. Also doing a color code system, I think, or something like that. Like, he had his own way of, of running of running the America and the presidency and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, like, killed him. Well, I mean, what's his name? Um, Richard Nixon would, was actually probably the one that actually had him killed because he wanted to pretend to be dead. <sighs> Figured being on camera would made it better, I guess. I don't know. So yeah. Anyway, and then they were and they were dying the hair of JFK anyway to make it blonde. I don't know why. I guess they figured that I had to be blonde haired, blue eyed or something, and he was using contact lenses to look blue eyed or something. So Anyway, he wasn't blonde-haired or blue-eyed, or whatever, or dark-haired color. I don't know. Like, they were doing this weird stuff in the White House. So, anyway, yeah, a lot of stuff happened in the White House, including uh, Jesse James's daughters getting their arms chopped off at some point in time, and an eye. I, I don't know, why did they take the eye again? And they took the arm? I don't know, Jesse, what's up? <laughs> what's the deal with your family what's going on with your family but it was your mother that I cared about not you or and I didn't even really care about you I cared about your daughters more but they were going to kill them and you so yeah man another man that lived because of his daughters yeah you know what people say and what is real are two different things and I very much wasn't a psychopath and actually did try and save them I don't know why. I think she might have actually later on wanted to say thank you to me for everything I did. And saying they were going to take more of the hand. Or more of something. I'm not sure why. I, mean, I'd, I'd really like to talk to him and be like, what the fuck was the deal with that dude? Anyway, I paid his debts. Or the Chinese did. Or they did something. Anyway. I guess one of my groups was like, yeah, you know. Leave him alone. So. Anyway, I don't really know. He did something. He owed money. He fucked up really bad. And somebody that was also a piece of, was an even bigger piece of shit took his daughters and had his way with them. Happened a lot back in the old days. Anyway, so I saved his life. I saved their lives. Or what was left in them. I didn't know about it right away until I asked or something like that, or someone told me about it, so, anyway, yeah, so, and then I stopped them from doing whatever they were going to do to him and them, and poor girls, like I said, I'm sorry, I had no idea, anyway, but there's shit people in the world, it's the way it is, I couldn't save everyone, but, Anyway, I don't know. Nixon was quite a psychopath himself. Huge psychopath. And wanted to kill me because I was a real American president again. I don't know, what is it with, with wanting to kill the leaders of countries? They wanted to kill me because I was a Germany president and Germany leader, but they wanted to kill me because I'm American president and American leader too? I don't know. Weird. Just weird. But they're more known in the world than I was, or something like that. Just weird, dude. Weird. Um, yeah, but anyway, but I really was, so I am, so I still able to do stuff. So anyway, man, anyway, I don't really. It's like whatever, dude. Anyway, I think I paid paid his debts or paid her debts or paid someone's debts. <sighs> it's just money. Uh, no reason to lose an arm for over it or an eye. I feel worse. I think they, they eventually killed the girl that they took the eye from. Kill eye patch. Like, it looked like a real interesting family reunion. One, one was missing an eye. One was missing an arm. And I think there was a leg involved somewhere. <laughs> what are they doing? Building a person? But the spare parts were these poor girls? Like, what? 
I was like, what the? 